a dime in the last four years. Uh, that is true, but you see, we, we have a way of doing it around here. So, you bribe a man. Each time they threaten to disconnect your electricity. Only God knows how much you gave out in four years. Forget about that. See, you don't disconnect my supply. And for doing that, I'll give you 5,000 grains. And you must ensure that you erase that indebtedness totally from your financial records. But uncle... Keep out of this. You don't know what is happening. You are new around here. But uncle, it's wrong. Ah, what is wrong with you? Keep quiet. Everybody does it around here. See, we must do it the way our forefathers used to do it so that it can turn out for us the way it turned out for them. That's why we keep getting it wrong. Our forefathers, they don't do it right. That's why we, we are what we are today. Uh, don't mind him. He has just returned from America. He doesn't understand what we are doing here. I only consider your manner of approach and the fact that you are an elderly man to erase dead from the computer is a 50-50 bargain. That is, you pay 50% of the amount owed. Huh? 50% of 148,000 greens. Where will I get that from? Uh, okay, okay. I will only do it for the amount you've given me. But, sir, tell my boy that you give 5,000. Uh, uh, that is alright. <laughs> that is alright. I will see you. Uncle, I'll be leaving. But, um, Uncle, there's no way we can make progress if we don't pay for services rendered by utilities. You see, we can't progress if we keep cutting corners and cheating. It's not good. Uh, Ayotunde, Ayotunde. See, everybody does it around here. And it's only that you are new in the system. See, when you are in Rome, you behave like Romans. But in Rome, they pay taxes. They pay for consumption. Uncle, the Bible says that we should give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and unto God what is God's. That is true. Come to think of it, the 5,000 grains I gave to that idiot will only go to his pocket alone. And if he fails to erase that indebtedness, that means I'm a double loser, Abby. <laughs> you are a double loser already. <laughs> you can't plant maize and reap beans. It's against human and divine laws. Uncle, I'll see you later. I was given some drugs and uh, injections. Sister, I'm not been able to work for Pali again. In fact, the injection site is swollen and very painful. I think it is even septic. But there was no injection prescribed for you. These are the pills given to her. Sickness is malaria, but a wrong injection has been given. This is clearly a case of mixed up. I'm sorry, madam. What? Is that what you do in this hospital? Giving an elderly person a wrong injection? Ah, <sighs> no wonder. Hunty is having serious problem. But I was not on duty when she came. And where is the doctor? I'm sorry. Not sitting. Give me the file. Excuse Good. me, doctor. Yes, madam. You've given my hand a wrong injection. Injection? Yes. That can happen here. This is my tent here on the job. Give me the case file. There is no injection here, madam. There is a mist up here. Madam, I'm sorry. Um, I take the full responsibility of everything that's happened. Please, you can come with me to my office.
Yes. Sorry, you can't go. My friend, will you get so out of the way? What is with him? Please. What kind of hostel is this? Excuse me, please. Well, what kind please of nonsense please. do you people think you are doing in this hospital? We are spending on her so that she can get well. But what we are getting is the opposite. What kind of hospital is this? You've been doing it for a long time now. But today you are going to put a stop to all of this nonsense. Look here and listen to me. If anything should happen to my sister, I'm going to hold every one of you responsible. Whatever the problem is, we only care. It is God that heals. So you want to shift your incompetence to God's doorstep? I'm not here for a cheap religious sentiment. We are going to battle it out today. Sorry. If I may come in, please. This was the problem. Thank you, madam. I brought my wife to this hospital to be treated for diarrhea. She took the pills that was given to her, and ever since she has been on admission. Please give me the case file. Yes, I recommended this drug. But sir, did you bring the, the drugs with you? Here they are. What? Who gave these drugs? These drugs are meant for neuropsychiatric patients. What? And this useless girl given to... I'm so sorry. I prescribed these drugs for Mrs. Polatito, who had a psychiatric problem after childbirth. And this useless girl had given them to Mrs. Polaniwa. Please, I'm very sorry. Oh, you express your regrets to the judge when we get to the courts. You see what medical practice has become? What do you expect when doctors will pick on tutored girls on the street, give them a two weeks crash program, and then start parading them in their hospitals as qualified nurses? Is that so? That is what they do. They give these girls a meagre amount compared to what they will have to pay to the uh, qualified nurse. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, hmm. What these people care about is money. But are they mindful of God's word? <sighs> Sorry. With the reform, there will be stable economy. With the reform. God, don't go home. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'll see you later. Hello, sir. And thanks for inviting me here. I want to assure you that it's going to be fun all night. You see, I have never imagined myself. Hey, Ritty. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. I'm in disgrace to you. Please, I'm sorry. I have to go. Oh, no, no, no. Sit down. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm ashamed of myself. I have to go. Reti, come back here. <laughs> now sit there. I can see that you're kind of repentant. And repentance paves way to reconciliation. Not only with your God, but with your family and the society at large. Uncle, I'm sorry. 
it's like you've just taken a big burden off my head. Please, I'm sorry. Would you please forgive me? It's only Jesus who can forgive. He's a forgiver of those who truly repent. You ready? Now that you have taken to prostitution, have you made your millions? Look, let me tell you. This is how it works with prostitution. Every money you make goes into medication, cosmetics, and dresses. And all those things are momentary pleasures that will wither over time. Just like a flower. Aside from that, you stand the risk of contracting AIDS. And above all, Iriti, your body is a temple of God. We should not be defiled. No. No, 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 Oku. You mean? Don't cause anything here. I'm going to organize a test for you right away and rehabilitate you financially. Come with me. Let's go. Move, move. No problem. No problem, madam. We are going to stop and search the sources. Let me have your particulars. But we don't go about with expired particulars. That is left for me to determine. Let me see your kind. The car is just six months old. We have never changed the engine, sir. Will you let me do my job? All right, sir. Okay. What's the matter? No problem, madam. What do you have in your boots? There's nothing there, sir. Come and open the boots. All right. Is it, madam? We are your boys, we are just here to do what you have us to do. We need something to cool down. We've been inside this for the past two hours. Just give us something to cool down, eh? <laughs> After wasting my time, and you're still asking for a bribe? Have you not paid your salaries? No, madam, our money is being paid to the station. And we need 3,000 green to go and collect it. Just find something for us to cool down. That is not a good reason for you to demand for a bribe. Driver, please. Madam. 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 So we need a reform. Can we make this land close with milk and honey? Officer, we never collected you. Are you part? A reformer in our land. That's the way. Mm. Pastor Faith, mm. I want you to come and stay in the presidential villa for 21 days. Yes, you will be praying and fasting. You will not see the sun because I want to be re-elected back into this villa. Well, that will be no problem, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. I trust you. Uh, but first, I need to seek divine guidance concerning your request. That, that reminds me. God says 
He wants his people to run the affairs of this country with the fear of God. Good, good, good. You see, <laughs> I have the fear of God. That's why I'm fit to run the nation. Yes, I have the fear of God. So go ahead. Go and do what you want to do. Let me know your reply. Hey, remember, there is a handsome reward waiting for you. <laughs> well, Your Excellency, I'll get back to you later. Very good. Uh, please, uh, oh, fine. Drink ah, no, 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 we have no, 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 See you later, Your Excellency. <laughs> Madam, of what use is the policeman? Eh? They must have stolen from these accident victims. We need an ambulance. There is no hospital around this place. Huh. And uh, those hospitals that we have, they don't have ambulance. Let's go, madam. Let's go. These people need urgent treatment. Huh. We have to take them to the hospital. We? I will explain to them when I get there. Please. It's risky, they madam. They need urgent treatment. Please. As you can see, other motorists are not waiting please, for them. Please, let's take them. Let's take them. Uh, Pastor Faith, uh, I will see you. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Faith, my good friend. Your Excellency, sir. <laughs> you are welcome. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Please be seated. Thank you, sir. Yes. <clears throat> so. What is your answer to my request? Mm, uh, well, unfortunately, Your Excellency, the Lord says that no matter how much prayer and fasting we do, He says you will not be re-elected as the next president of this country. He says He has taken the post from you and has handed over to a man after his own heart. Pastor Faith, are you sure? I'm sure, Your Excellency. I heard right. Well. Oh. Yes. Here. This is three million dollars. It's all yours. Here. Well, I'm very, very sorry, Your Excellency. No, 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 no. I can't take it. I can't go against the will of God. It's impossible, Your Excellency. I'm very sorry. Listen. This can do a lot for your congregation. You remember you were saying something about your land that has been taken from you. What if I restore that land back to you? In addition with this three million dollars, are you sure it cannot do it? You see, because I must be re-elected. Don't you understand? I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I still cannot take it. It's impossible. I can't go against the will of God. You see, my prayer for you is that you repent now before it is too late. Because the Bible says, the way of the wicked shall not prosper. Hmm. How I wish. You will just do what I'm saying. Hmm? I wish you would just comply. I still stand on my words, Your Excellency. I'm very, very sorry. Mm. I see. Okay. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Chief Security Officer. You are high lifted up. There is no one like you. 
Holly, 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 new. Ooh, yeah, you are higher, lifted up. There is no one like you, oh, Lord. Holly, 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 new. Your name is higher than any other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is higher than any other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Some people will visit you. I have put it in their mind to talk to you. These men are of stony hearts. But I will use them for my work. Just as I use an ungodly king to favor Abraham. Listen to whatever they have to say. And agree with them. I have seen the afflictions of my people. In the hands of dictators and corrupt leaders, I have listened to the cries of the poor masses who are praying day and night for a leader who has the fear of God in his heart. I am the Prince of Peace. I will bring peace to the country. My son, with my holy oil, I have anointed you. I have chosen you to be the leader who will reform the country. You will lead the nation, just as Moses did in Egypt. You will rule the nation, just as Samuel did in Israel. And you will build the nation, just as Nehemiah built the temple of God. No, Papa. No, I can't. Look, I'm not eloquent. Aside from that, Politics is a very dirty game. How do you want me to survive in the midst of evil and treacherous people? Baba, I can't. My son, do not be afraid. For I have given you powers over scorpions and serpents. You will have powers over your enemies. And no evil will be for you. I will guide you through to reform the country. I will assist you to choose men of integrity who have the fear of the Lord to assist you in the work. But my son, you must be in the spirit for you to succeed. Be careful and be very, very careful because some people will come to lure you to worldly things. Remember, worldly things will perish with the world. Barista, barista. Ah, oh. how are you? Good help. How are you? You're welcome, sir. Hello. You're welcome, sir. Ah. The law. Uncle Luluti Milei. The law. You're welcome, sir. Barista, you're today. Did you travel? No, I've been around. Oh, I've been around. God. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> you're welcome. Please sit down. Thank you very barista, much. Barista, barista. To what do I owe this honor? <laughs> Please no sit down. No cause for alarm. So, yeah. how is everything? We can't go, sir. Um, Mr. Ayotunde, you see, we are quite aware of what you've been doing to My improve son, the quality of life of the people of this town. This is to whatever they and uh, we quite appreciate this. Exactly. But you see, like Oliver Twist, we have come to make another demand. Exactly. <laughs> I'll do anything for you, sir. <laughs> that's good, that's good. God bless you. Amen. Uh, the others met. I've even consulted our youths. We've all agreed that you should run for the presidency of a nation for the next election. Oh, no. Yes? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Please, uncle. I can't do it. Ah, no, no. Uh, Mr. Ayotunde, uh, for the sake of the people, please consider our request. Please. Please think about it. My, My son, son, some, some people, people will visit you. you. Listen, Listen to whatever, whatever they have, they have to, say to say and, and agree, agree with them. them. I'll think about it. Good. <laughs> That's good. Barista, barista. Barista. <laughs> oh, well.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm quite impressed with this turnout. I'm here today to present to you our candidate for the position of the president in this country. Thank you very much. You see, in the past, our leaders have been very, very corrupt. And they have been running the affairs of this country as dictators. Not in line with good government. Not in line with the rules of democracy. And that is why we have been experiencing the same poor result all over the years. So ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for a change. And that is why we are putting a man of integrity. A man who has the fear of the Lord in his heart in charge. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I hereby present our candidate for the position of the president. He is a lawyer trained in America. He is a God-fearing person. He is a grassroots mobilizer. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, he is a link between the elders of this country and the youths. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands with as I present to you, Barista Ayotunde Koka for the president. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. My people, as I was saying, is it proper for a son to contest against his father for the same seat? Oh. African culture and tradition respects age and experience. Uh, our people have a saying that whoever you meet at a place is the father of the place. Any Abalabani Baba. The white people also have the same. Uh, pardon me, my elders. And they say, a new broom might sweep a room clean. Yes. But the old broom knows all the corners and all the intricacies of the room. Yes. Uh, so therefore, my opponent is just a small boy. Therefore, he is highly incompetent to rule over you beautiful people of Evergreen. That is all right. Let us now listen to Mr. Ayotunde. With courtesy and due respect, I welcome you all to this arena. Um, we cannot continue to do the wrong things in the name of tradition. If our forefathers did it right, shall we be where we are today? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to know that the wisdom of Solomon has got nothing to do with the age of Methuselah. <laughs> what I'm saying precisely is that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Age has got nothing to do with proper planning and implementation. from all polling centers have been received. None of the ballot papers were voided and reports reaching us 
showed that there was no electoral malpractices or violence. The exercise was peaceful and orderly. Now to the election's results. The People United for Progress, PUP, polled 968,350 votes, while the Alliance for Youth and Elders, AYE, got 13,642,329 votes. I hereby declared Ayotunde Koka, candidate of the Alliance for Youth and Elders, Winner of the presidential election. It's unbelievable. Get my trophy. Can you imagine? Uh, get, get me the chief electoral officer. Get my trophy. Hello. 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 Uh, chief electoral officer. Can you explain the results of that election? Huh? I beg your pardon. Hello. Hello? Chief Electoral Officer? Hello? Hello? Oh. Unbelievable. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. We thank God for everything. God is good. Hey, my job! Congratulations. Congratulations. That was good. That was splendid. <laughs>
Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. You are indeed welcome. Your Excellency, your answer is wonderful and marvelous. You are very wise. The wisdom of David, Solomon, Moses and Joseph put together do not equal the amount of wisdom God has given you. <laughs> you are indeed a God-sent Messiah of the people. And we are professional politicians. And we are ready to work in your cabinet. <laughs> Thanks for the flattery. Sorry, we do not want politicians who will starve the people. As time goes on, the Holy Spirit will lead us as to who we will appoint as ministers in our cabinet. Thank you very much. That is how you want it. May God help you. Dear. Dear. See these people. <laughs> Do they think they can play God? God is smarter than everyone. Darling, I don't want you to be disturbed. You see, I believe that God has anointed you to be the leader of this country. And I strongly believe that he will support us. Amen. We have no strength of our own. At all. Our sufficiency is of God. And when God is with us, who can be against us? Nobody. Please, I want you to cheer up. Thank you, dear. God bless you. My fellow countrymen, he who wears the shoe knows where it pinches. This budget will address the near absence of basic amenities for the people. To this end, the total budgetary allocation for this year will be 15 trillion greens. I believe that man, as a unit of development, performs best when the environment is conducive. For this reason, 600 billion greens is allocated to the social sector. Firstly, we are revolutionizing the educational sector. We want to encourage job creators and not job seekers. 
In this respect, government is budgeting 300 billion greens to the sector. This is to take care of every pupil duly registered in government educational institutions from the primary to university level. Parents don't have to pay for the education of their children and wards anymore. Education, as you can see, is the key to progress. In the past, leap service was paid to this vital sector. We are offering qualitative education to ensure that our children are educated. That is what happens in advanced nations of the world, and if we aspire to be like this super world powers, we just must do things the way they do it. My fellow compatriots, we are going to work on the roads which have become death traps. We are updating healthcare facilities to ensure that people have access to good medical care. This government will ensure that the people get safe, drinkable water at all times. It is only when the people are healthy that they can contribute productively to the growth of the community. The desire to put this country on the path of progress and stability informed my decision to reverse the 100 billion greens vote initially allocated to security and defense to agriculture. Budgetary allocations will be closely monitored to ensure that they are used for the purposes already stated in this. My people, let me assure you that there are better days ahead of us. And to succeed, I call for your cooperation and support. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, sir, I'm here to show my sincere appreciation to you for getting released from detention. It's indeed appreciated, sir. And secondly, as the president of the Christian Association of the Republic of Evergreen, I'm here to congratulate you for being elected as the president of this republic. Oh, thank you. And I want you to know that you have not just been elected because the people wanted you, but because God has ordained you that you are his mandate, and which is the most important thing. Thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for what happened. The men who did it to you didn't have an adequate knowledge of God. And um, it was so apparent. The Bible has said it. My people perish for lack of knowledge. And I want you to know that it wasn't Daniel's wish to be thrown into the lion's den. Paul and Silas prayed their ways through. And it was so apparent that you had prayed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, I want you to know, Your Excellency, that uh, the Church of God in this Republic is solidly behind you. And there's no room for fear. Thank you very much. As it is, um, I can't do it all alone. I need your prayers to rebuild this nation. We shall surely do that. And before I take my leave, sir, shall we have a word of prayers? Oh, with all pleasure. This is the man after my own heart. He will This is very bad. This is bad drainage. Who got the contract? Oh, uh, your excellency, sir. Your predecessor awarded the contract for 50 million naira. And the contractor had hardly moved to site when he said I should prepare the certificate of... Uh, okay. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. This is bad drainage. It's been blocked. This is why we have so much flood during rainy season. You see what I'm talking about? And see the heap there? It's going to serve as den for robbers. Show me the file when we get to the office. Yes, sir. Congratulations once again, Your Excellency. You're welcome. I am happy you won. You see, I was one of those monitoring the votes. When one of the former president's men was going beyond bounds, I challenged him and slapped him. Did that report not get to you? No. Anyway, I was a lady in question. Yes, I was ready to die for you. I see. But I was at the polls and there was, uh, there was peace everywhere. Ah, it was shortly after you left. 
you needed to see how four hefty men held me and prevented me from fighting the useless man to finish. I see. Well, <laughs> we all work together to rebuild this nation. Discipline is our watchword, isn't it? Trust me, Your Excellency. Trust me to be in the forefront of the battle. I count on your support. Thank you very much. But Your Excellency, our people used to say that, that it is from the provisions made to the sick man that he who looks after the sick he uses to take care of himself. I don't understand you. What I'm simply saying is that anybody going for war must be fully equipped or can a hungry man fight? Uh, no, no, no. Go straight to the point. Now that you are in this position, you need people like me to empower yourself and we, your followers, put us through contracts and other things. <laughs> I see, I understand you. Actually, we need some aviation equipment to make our air travel safe and faster. Yeah, good. Then give the contract to me. Are you an aviation expert? Oh, forget experts. I'll simply sell the contract paper and pay the money into your special account. What? That shouldn't surprise you, Your Excellency. That's how it is done here. Risking the lives of people for money? That's criminal. You're just being emotional for no reason, Your Excellency. If you're not going to do it the way it is done, then don't expect it to come out just the way you want it. Anyway, if that's the way you want it, then good luck to you. Soften not little children, teach them well and train them. I'm okay. What do I do with this little girl? This one, who is there to be wind, serving as a house girl. You can't be serious. Well, you're right. You see. Both parents died last year, during a heavy rainfall, when the walls of the building they were living in collapsed. And without a place for her to live, and no one to take care of her, I decided to take care of him with my other seven I mean other seven children, and with unsteady income. It became too burdensome for me to carry on. And you know, that's why I felt she serves you here, at least her body will be off my neck. I will take her, but on condition that she proves to be hardworking. Because I cannot feed a child that will be of no service to me. Ah, uh, no, madam. That is not a problem. You see, I can assure you that she will serve you well, even to your satisfaction. By the way, what's her name? She is queen. Queen? <laughs> this is a queen without a crown. Anyway, to your bag in that Your baby. And she's fine. Hmm. God is marvelous. I mean, it's like a miracle to me that a member of the family can become the president. You know what people do? No. They have what fat, fat contracts using the member of their family as fonts. And God's so good. We don't share the same surname. You can trust me. I will play that role perfectly to your satisfaction. Beju, you a born again Christian? Involved in this kind of worldly corruption? Now listen. What does it profit you to gain the whole world and be poor in the grace of God? That's what everybody does. Mm -hmm. Poverty is not a friend of the soul. When poverty comes in through the door, love, honesty, integrity fly out through the window. You know, survival needs maximum degree of comfort. Ah, but think of what is happening in the family. My dear Kweju, when the going goes tough, you seek the divine counsel of God. That's what you're supposed to do. I hope you realize you are no longer in America. This is home. So forget about all the fantasies of foreign countries. Cultures differ from place to place. Mm. So we are created differently to be backward. I disagree with you. Anyway, we'll discuss that one some other time. This Bekutu wrote 
rehabilitation project was awarded to you. I've been there and nothing was done. What happened? Yes, now. I told you that's the system here. Hmm? 50% of the money involved was given to the former president. And the balance was shared between the minister, the government officials, and myself. <laughs> but you signed the contract. So you have to refund the money. Or you go to jail. <laughs> Am I hearing you properly? You heard me. I hope you are not affected by too much learning. Baiju, make efforts to refund that money. Otherwise, otherwise. <laughs> For God's sake, where did you expect me to find the money? The minister involved is no longer in good condition of health and is penniless. You sack the civil servant involved and the president is nowhere to be found. Well, maybe the head of our family will have to intervene in this matter. After all, he too had his own share. Eh? Uh -huh. Yes, Ke. Hey! My God. Mm hmm? Why do you abuse your children? Why do you abuse your children? In your care, why are you ill treating this precious soul? Why do you abuse your children? Queen, Queen, so not little children. Why did you leave my baby like this? Teach them well and train them my clothes, right. soup, soup. My soup, which cost me 5,000 mm -hmm. to prepare. You, you will not eat still in this house for the rest of the month. Eh? My clothes. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm dead, oh, yeah. A sense of pride. Thank you, Uncle. You're welcome. But I need a juicy political appointment to help the <laughs> There's no problem, Kuridi. Do you have the paper qualifications for the appointment you're seeking? <laughs> qualifications? Paper qualification or concrete qualifications? Well, my qualifications are loyalty, obedience to the dictates of who put me there, dogged steadfastness to my mentor, hmm? Which someone inform people call circumference. I see. Well, I'm sorry we don't have um, we don't have room for qualifications like that here. Our appointment is strictly based on paper qualifications and dignity in character. But as soon as you fit into that virtue, I'll send for you. Excellency, ma'am. That is exactly what she explained to me when I met her by the roadside crime. Thank God, today is your visiting day. That is very kind of me. Thank you, ma'am. Well, Your Excellency, as you can see, this is an instance of what us young housemates suffer from the hands of us, these rich people. And I believe you have to take this up. Concerning ours, we try in our own capacity to make sure that she gets well very, very soon. And as you can see, she's quickly responding to treatment. Hmm. Thank you, Doctor. We have to take this up. Please come with me. Boy Rusku. Nagagba Lagba. Bola Kunga. Maishia. Atil. Have you heard that the president told Kweju to refund 
the money for the Begudu Road projects, which he didn't do. Ogao okay, politicians are equal. Well, well. Who knows what he too will do at the end of the day? Look, wait a minute. There is an interesting twist to this issue. You know, what you happen to be the first cousin of the new president. And I see his action as a warning signal if he can really start this cleansing matter from his family. It means he is not prepared to spare anyone. You are very correct. You are very correct, Shia. I very correct. Yeah. Shia! Yeah. 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 I'm praised from Evergreen Television. Your Excellency, the government is offering for sale the property of some hex ministers. I think we should be lenient with them. What they did with the money they allegedly stole is their own grant used to develop their communities. <laughs> The stolen money belongs to us. So in a democratic governance, it is at the discretion of the people to decide on how to spend the money and what to spend it on. The money belongs to us. It belongs to you and I. So we should decide on what to do with it. Thank you. Your Excellency, sir. My fear has to do with what will happen after you must have served your tenure of office. Will your successor not revert back to the era of chop make I chop, which destroyed us? No, oh, that is if you allow that to happen. You see, it is very difficult to reverse a good policy. If people are used to uh, fairness, justice and equity, they will kick violently against any form of corruption, injustice and favoritism. It is the duty of you and I to build this nation together. Let us instill discipline in ourselves and we'll have a better country. Thank you very much. Thank you. I 
our musicians. Thank you. Uh, next, I would like to invite the founder of Little Angel Foundation, the beloved wife of our president, Our Excellency, Mrs. Abimbola Koka, to make a speech. Thank you. Thank you. Um, children, I won't take much of your time because I know that today is your day and I want you to enjoy yourself to the fullest. <laughs> you see, a leader who does not groom a successor is a failure. And that is why we are concentrating our attention on these little ones. To show them love so that they can love. To discipline them so that they can be disciplined. And above all, to let them have the fear of the Lord. As we all know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And I pray that God in his infinite mercy to continue to bless them with knowledge wisdom and understanding. Amen. Uh, thank you so much. You will agree with me, that was a very beautiful speech. A round of applause again for us. <laughs> thank you. At this junction, I'd like to invite our children to give us their recitation. Children, please, your recitation. My name is Wisdom. I want to become a doctor so that I can make people well. Little ones, listen to Bible reading experience. Joshua chapter 8, verse 35. Thank you. My name is Eb. I will honor my father and my mother because I want to live long in this world. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. God bless you. My name is Queen. I am a child of God. I want to become a lawyer so that I can assist people to have access to justice. I want to remind our parents to treat us kindly and in love. Train young women to love their children. Titus chapter 2 verse 4. Thank you. I am Paula David. Children are an inheritance of the Lord. Psalm 127, verse 3. Thank you. I am Christy. I want to become a pilot in vision. God cares for young children. In heaven, there are angels always behold the face of God. Matthew, chapter 18, verse 10. Thank you. My name is Kunle. I want to become a microbiologist. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Thank you. My name is Tosi. I want to be an evangelist of God so that I can live with whoever in never. There is no ghost crying and so it is full of everlasting joy. Let little children come with me, for there is the kingdom of God. Matthew chapter 19, verse 14. Thank you. My name is Samuel. I want to become a geologist. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. This is right, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Thank you. I am Raphael. I want to be a pharmacist so that I can be caring for sick people. Father, do not provoke your children to be rough but nurture and teach them the word of the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. Thank you. My name is Benjamin. I want to be a soldier when I grow. Obey your parents in all things, for this is first pleasing. Thanks. That was beautiful. A round of applause for this beautiful program. <laughs> now I'd like to invite Our Excellency to give us the aim of this foundation. The aim of the foundation is to care for the emotional stability and intellectual development of the abused children in the society. Because we believe that these vulnerable children are our future. To couple it all, our Lord Jesus Christ confirmed to us 
in the Bible, how important children are in the world. In the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 14, it reads thus, Let little children come unto me, for theirs is the kingdom of God. I will advise us, parents and guidance, that we should not abuse our children, all the children in our care, rather teach them well and let them lead the way. In Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier for them. And let the children's slaughter remind us how we used to be. Now, I'm going to brief you what the Foundation has achieved so far since our inception. The Foundation took off with a set of twins, abandoned by the Abitur. Today, there are 300 children who have been fully rehabilitated and living normal lives. We have successfully taught mothers the dangers inherent in street trading. The foundation is paying the fee of 280 children in different schools. Only last month, we introduced an exchange program whereby the children travel overseas to let them see how children live elsewhere. We have made several suggestions to the government to improve the law on child's rights and the protection of children because the rate of child abusers are increasing every day. We need a very stringent law to discourage child abuse in our community. I promise we shall do more. Thank you. Right now, I would like to invite the children to give us their performance. Children, a round of applause.
believe this. There's no single business that brings in money. That didn't just prepare for the rainy day. Don't talk like that. All the money sent to you for profitable ventures. What did you use it for? I used those funds to maintain, sustain and retain myself in school. Wasn't that what the money was meant for? And the other students, were they getting that much? <laughs> listen, listen. There is no use in arguing over a mistake that cannot be reversed, right? It has happened and it has happened. Look, it's past 12 and I'm hungry. I've not eaten anything yet. <laughs> Look, there is no food in this house. What? When we were in government, we were getting everything free. Oh, God save us from all this. What a prayer. When we are all hungry now, Come on, shut up! Come on, eat me up. Stupid boy. Nonsense. So this is the other side of life. With these new government uh, stringent measures, uh, I don't think this is a good idea. Don't you think it's a bit too risky? Look, we have no choice. If K is not taken, we will die of hunger. I know, but I'm not comfortable with this trip. You know, maybe it could give me some power that will make me to disappear if there's any problem at the airport. You know? Hmm. I think it's too risky. My mind tells me. My dear, don't be pessimistic, eh? Don't be pessimistic. All will be well. Mm. All will be well. Oh, I pray so. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> what is it, darling? What is it? I want her. Ex president's her. wife dies. Oh my God. Yeah. How uh much -huh. I want her. All my efforts to lead her to Christ failed. All the friends around her will not give her a breathing space. Shade. <laughs> yeah. I am sorry for the loss of your friend. And uh, you see, you have to cheer up. The fact that she's no longer alive, it doesn't mean that's the end of the whole world. That chapter has closed for now. I just hope that the new occupants of the presidential mansion will not follow our bad footprints. 
She is God fearing. I was at a New Haven hospital the other time she came to look at children that were abused. Hmm. She was moved to tears. Hmm. I could see the hand of God in her life. Uh, uh, you see, uh, the two of them are just alike. Uh, the husband, I mean the president, is a man that is so serious about the work of the country. He's, he's trying his best and is a very committed reformer who has transformed the whole country. The students are now back in schools. No more strike actions by those teachers. Teachers' salaries are paid regularly. And uh, you see, those things we used to encounter in those days, fuel shortages, long queues at petrol stations, they have all vanished. And you need to go around the cities. They are very clean. Talk about fuel shortages. And now, she has made all emergency personnel to be alive to their duties. The other time I learned, he went to a poor man's house in the small area of the town mm -hmm. and made a call to the emergency unit. They ignored the call. Mm -hmm. He drove right there and sacked everyone on duty. Wonderful. That is the type of president we want. Now, no one dares to joke with his or her duties. Ah, I'm happy that he has introduced all these wonderful things into the system. He has really brought sanity into the system. Wow. I'm on call. I will have to leave now. I don't want to cross the path of the president. That's okay. Yeah, you have to take it easy. And uh, don't let this affect the output of your place of work. Okay. Uh -huh. So please take it easy. Sir, we have seen so far that you have made a very great achievement since you have been elected into the office. The economies have improved very buoyant. There is a great reform from what it used to be. There has been a great transformation. And people now refer to you as the reformer. People have been saying that your wife contributed to your success, sir. <laughs> well, it is true that my wife has contributed to my success so far. So I thank her so much for it. I thank her very much for her moral support. Again, I'm going to thank my council of ministers, whom God has raised up at this end time to rule this nation with me. Thanks to God Almighty. He's out there. He's the one who made everything possible. I want to tell you something. That a president without the fear of God cannot rule a nation with achievements. I want you to know, because the Bible says that except the Lord builds a city, the laborers labor but in vain. And except the Lord watches over a city, those who watch, just watch in vain. God will give us strength to make the place. Thank you very much.
the reformer, yeah, we'll be.